I gotta wait till next month. So I gotta wait to be with my father I have to see my son. Me too. <sighs> Only that I'm afraid. I've told you you don't have to be afraid of this. It's true. Uh, this pregnancy has come to stay. The same thing you said about the last one. This is eight months already. All those are pregnancies you lost never got to be seven months. That's enough to tell you when this one has come to stay. Amen. I hope so too. Let's have faith. And watch God approve.
Well, so we just met in the ring. Are you, are you telling me to calm down? Why would God allow this? To make me kill I will never stop believing God. I know that very soon He will bless us and forget all these experiences and He'll prove to us that He is still.
is the height of wickedness. How could you have allowed such an innocent orphan to go through such a humiliation when you are actually the one in position to help her? How could you? Since you've agreed to help me, please tell me where she is and where you. Where is Oluma? Do you marry? I will suggest you go back to your wife and find a better way of solving the problem. I believe you can help me out. Please tell me where she is. Oloma is dead. If that is what you want to be. She died with the pregnancy. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard.
Christus. Christ the soul. I'm going to live my life. Being a barren woman. I, I remember taking the vow. Ah, 
Do your love. Sonny, it is good to be away we have known each other. Do you understand? I am not your love. Stay away from me. I've been here waiting for you all day just to set my eyes on you like I do everyone in the world going to decide. And here you are telling me these stories. It's not fair, man. You're waiting for me. You think I'm not here? You think I'm not here about what you and your colleagues do? How you go about spoiling and impregnating your village girls? I would never be a I will not. No, I'm not like that. Ask people about me. I'm not like that. I'm different. Listen to me. What I feel for you is not love. It's undiluted love. Just give me a chance. You know now. Who are you telling that one? What do I know? I do not know anything. Leave me alone and do not come to me again. Give me out. Are you deaf? I said you should leave me alone. If you touch me again, I will scream for the whole villagers to come out. And if they come out, you know what that means. Don't touch me. I'm almost new. Madam, let me hear you go now. I'll give you a percent of the Sorry, what's up with you now? Sorry, sorry. Good. So, you're not feeling right. Since we are red set in this way, you will be feeling strange. What is the problem? Oh my god, that's a big hit of love. Any warrior? You can always check it. You are talking about something serious, you are talking about me. What is the name? Yeah. So you will be going to the problem. It's not going to have to be. That's one of those things you know how to wake up. For the wrong side of the bed. I don't think it's in the warrior. Um, where is Suman? Bring the mineral that passes by and I don't see you does not go well with me. It's like I'm empty. You are the source of my joy and happiness. You, you mean the whole world to me. Can you not see it? I want to ask you a question. Why? Why do you love me? Uh -huh. Why do you love me? All this stuff you be singing to me like a parrot. Tell me, why do you love me? Why? <sighs> why else would a man love a woman and go to marry her? Are you trying to wash me? You think I don't know? Once you see my nakedness now, you just vanish like a devil. Me? Mm. In fact, you have insulted my love for you. And for that, I do not want to see your nakedness again until we are married. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Any day I demand sex from you, run away and know I want to dump you. I want your virginity to be presented to me as a wedding gift. Wedding night. Yes. I do know. You never wanted to listen to me. That's why each time I stop, you just run away. <laughs> I've been calling you since. You are very fast in working. 
Do you know? Where can I? What is it? Someone said I should. It's to you. This is what Someone said. Someone Who said? Shut up! I'm asking you a question and you're saying eh, I'm asking too much questions. Are you mad? I said, who asked you to give it to me? Yes. I will not take it. Else you should tell me. Give it to it. Okay, you see, eh? it's that bad that wants to be right now in our current company, our um, construction company. So I should give it to you. And now you have to give it to me. It's now that we take it back to you, return it, I won't take it. I beg you to know for me. You promise to give me something. Get up from there! Thank you, thank you. You promise to give me something and you go ahead and take what you promise to give me. Remember the day I helped you to carry my wood to your house? You could not have done this. Hey, John, you don't do too much. Never yeah, give me. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm happy with what I Oh, Oh, okay. Oh, Our son, Chita is a god, he's a son. He told me that he wants his younger brother to join him in Lagos. Oh, thank God. I'm tired of the so troublesome life. Hey, hey, let him leave this village to join his elder brother in Lagos and see that his mates are already making money in the city. But you can do if Nanso goes to join Chibese and Lagos, who will be running the errands in this house? As if Nanso had been any for himself. He only is alone, I see around. 
The last time I checked, I discovered it had been on my running the road errands in this house. But you know, I don't know how to so get married. When she gets married, you know what to do. We don't see her crossing the bridge until we get to the river. <laughs> the river is still far. <laughs> Yeah, where are you going this night? And I want to go and see Ichi. Our own home meeting is tomorrow. And as a secretary and assistant, we should make sure that things are in order. I won't waste time. Alright. Be sure you don't waste time. Come back in time. Alright, I'm back. You ready? It's a good girl. She's my veggie. It's my veggie. That means that person will never be an auxiliary one. His name will be inducted into the company's database as a full staff. And will be receiving salaries by the end of the month. Not be paid or work as on the local projects like in place. They will be paid as a supervisor by the end of every month. And that person is no other than Sunday. He had a job. Solomon! Ah! <laughs> 
These boys love pleasure more than the reason why they are here. They go around the village chasing the village girls, and it is causing destruction, according to the white man. You see, as site supervisor, must know the ethics of the job. He must be focused, and above all. We must have been someone who has worked with the company for a very long time. You should love the job more than pleasure. I have been watching you. You don't do any of those nonsense things with those girls. You are exceptional. Thank you, sir. And I don't want you to disappoint me. I won't disappoint you, sir. In case whenever the white man comes around, you will see the reason why I suggested you. I, I appreciate this. Thank you very much. Are you sure you are really fine? Oh, 
Tell me what it is. Do not speak with anyone until he has come to see us at your parents. And we can't his intention to marry you. 
and find not the thing in the for years. I hate to know that, okay. The goods you ordered have landed and we brought them for you. As you can see, she is pregnant. And the pregnancy is for you. And it is an abomination for an unmarried man to be pregnant in this land. So we have come to see you to know when you are coming to our house to take her home as your wife. The girl you got pregnant, of course. <laughs> Sorry, did, did this girl tell you I got her pregnant? Sonny, what are you saying? My dear, I should be asking. Please, what are you saying? Sir, sorry, I, I shouldn't say this here, but I, I have to. I'm a child of God. I, I cannot have any are you not the same girl who comes here every night with your laptop? This girl comes here every night and sneaks into some of my colleagues' rooms. Almost every night. I... Wait. Have you gotten pregnant and you want to keep it on my neck? Hey. Papa, don't mind him. He's lying. He's the only man that has ever slept with me. And that was just one. He's a bad. I don't know. I don't, I don't. Oh, <laughs> 
He takes the wisdom of the ancient to differentiate between habitism and ugly. That is also the saying of our people. Very good. Mazi. Mazi and Uchi. And I saw something that surprised me. It wasn't very bright. The picture wasn't very bright. So that is why we decided to come to you. Don't know if what we have seen is correct or incorrect. Anya. I can ask of Okay. To find out if actually an elder like you is at home, why the children mistake a kite for a boy? Or if I see Say yourself the strength. So I already know where you are going. Because these gray hairs are not mere decorations. What you saw is correct. And, uh, like you know, I did all I am supposed to do as an elder, as the know, as a father. Take the horse to the stream, yes. But force the horse to drink water is not my responsibility. You, are you trying to tell us that all of our daughter? It's not yet betrothed to any man. And she's already in the family. Is that what you're saying? But if you know why, I am the one Cameroonian. I'm also. He's denied it. Master. If that girl is able to point at a man, show all that man, and then leave the rest. Yes. There is no one who allows such man to go scot free. Mm -hmm. If we were the danger ahead of our daughter is much. If he fails to marry her, who are the women? So we won't allow that. Thank you, my brothers. I don't know. Oh, amen. As you can see, I was on my way out. I have an appointment with a call. I'm going to meet him. Mm -hmm. Alan. You can see exactly what is going on. But I told you, the truth is that this is not fine. And something has to be done about it. This is an abomination. We can't fool our hands and watch. Let's go. In this our community, we have much respect and love for culture and tradition. Nobody, nobody dares joke on it. In our tradition, it is a taboo for a married girl to bring forth a child while she is still under. So has it been right of time, and we don't correct that at all. It is better for her to go to the man that has impregnated her. Otherwise, she vanished. That is that. Is all because a child whose fatherhood is unknown to us is an evil child, and in the whole of our community, we don't have our evil. We are explaining all this to you because the girl in question came from a rich family, she is. No, she lost her parents. She is an orphan. No brother, no sister. But I tell you, all other relations of her, like her nephews, 
his uncles and the entire community. Love has to so much. You better go and talk to your mother. Talk to him. Let him come and get married to this girl. The girl that he put in a family with. Yes. Otherwise, we should be ready to face the loss of this. You hear that? And we cannot throw out our own child. An innocent offer or just a like that might be. Instead, we will go any length, do anything possible to make sure that that boy of yours gets married to our daughter. Forcefully, I say, forcefully. Hold your head on my elders, which of my boys are you talking to? I have many of them. You? Um, Sonny? Yes, Sonny. Yes. Ah, there must be a mistake, I know Sonny very well. Do you do a thing like that? What are you trying to do? I know most of my boys do reckless things. I'm not sure Sonny meddling himself in such an immoral act. Did you hear? I heard you. I did. Uh, let him smell Go and confront this boy. First of all, go and confront him. Okay. Uh, and listen. It is better you do it while I'm not your mind. That is it. You should go. I hope all of is sure of what she is saying. I Yes. I was about to ask the same question. question. She is insisting that the boy is responsible. So the boy said that he never slept with her, but that she has been sleeping around with his colleagues. Hey! I can arrest her! I'm not going to Hey! After all the advice I gave you, you still went ahead and live a purposeless life with those boys. So I don't, I don't eat carelessly. You know that. So why you don't get to get pregnant? Me. Which girl? I, I didn't get anybody pregnant. You mean no one has comforted you as getting their daughter pregnant? Sir, so a certain girl came here to become their parent, and that's why I got her pregnant. And this is a girl I know very well. Who comes into that camp to sleep with almost all the boys there? I made it clear to the parents that I had never had anything with this girl. And they understood me. I can't lie to you. I hope you're not lying to me. I'm not lying to you, sir. You know me very well. Ask God if I'm the rest. Thank you, sir. My elders, we are back. Welcome. No, no, no. That is the Sunny we are talking about. I think he has a different view. Sonny, over to you. Thank you, sir. My elders, I greet you all. Welcome. No. The other day, this elder here came to our camp with his wife and his daughter and said the daughter was pregnant for me. And I was baffled. I was shocked. I kept wondering how, in what way. This is a girl I know too well who comes into our camp every night. She sticks in with a lantern. 
Sometimes she comes with very mini skirts and, 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 and very exposing attires. She sleeps into Oliver's room and some other colleagues of mine, even him. And I kept suspecting and wondering what this girl comes here to do every night. All of a sudden, I am confronted with this allegation that I got her pregnant. And I asked myself, how? I have never as much as come close to her, let alone touch her. So I do not know how on earth I could have gotten her pregnant. <sighs> <clears throat> See, Oloma is a beautiful girl, and uh, everybody likes beautiful girls. I mean, she says that she's a free giver. Yes. yes. So there's no how she can say who is responsible for her pregnancy because uh, you know uh, she has given to me, and uh, she has. Yeah. Okay. She has own to go. So she has given to all of us. Except Sonny. Except me. Yes. So if 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 we talk about who is the father of the baby, it, it means me. Okay. Or we go from Sonny. I am sure of that. Yeah. You see, you see, in in our camp, we have changed our name. Why is following me? People will not be talking about you know, Sony, 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 Sony. Stop that story. Stop it. Hey, you know what? Are you telling us here that that girl has never entered you? She has never entered my room. Cha 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 cha. I am telling you the truth. That girl has never gone close to your door, but she has entered your room. At oh, all! At all! Yeah. Everybody knows me. Yeah. Has never been to my room. No. At all! No. No. But my daughter is insistent that it was Sonny that impregnated her. Exactly. I am telling you, she does not know. Probably she's, I do not even know how I look like Oliver. That she would not know who is who. I cannot be made to accept a pregnancy that's not mine. Oh, oh, no, I go to church. I'm a born in my son. Oh, oh. Mine. I'm not right. Your face is not right. What was the outcome of the meeting? Olumba must be banished. That bastard in her womb was not a harbor in this house. The tradition of the land. One changes. You mean the elder did not want to marry her? How can the elders force him to marry her when the idiot denied vehemently? Have they had any affairs with her? The colleagues said that they were the people that were sleeping with our woman. Now, who are we going to go responsible? What has come over this girl? What has come over our woman?
Yeah. It's right along this
drunk if I don't and I'll be you my dear You promised to love me to the end Now you've left me in the Shall never be well with whoever that leads to you. And she not the one that will give up her legs for the man. Let her suffer what she put upon herself. Shut up. Eh? Is she not better than her mother's? Agnes. My daughters are still living with me in my house. None of them has been forced to leave my house by the village elders. We all know what they do. This innocent girl has refused to follow the boy and carry her cross. So don't call her to leave out. Leave out. What do they do? Madam, no art. What do they do? A passion. Then, let me be. Let me be. Mm. You want to sit and listen? Haven't you said already? Have you not said? Come on, you must tell me what they do. All my wait now. What is it? Where are you going? Where do you want to go? Have you not denied me? Why are you asking me? Take your money! If 
Family house. Yes. This is their main family house. I was very little the last time I came here. I'm Go there and tell them the daughter of who you are. Yes. 
can see. You can see how I can see your face. You are the one that got pregnant and was taken to your maternal home. Yes, so, you are welcome, my daughter. You are welcome, my daughter. What is it? What are you doing here? What I'm doing here? It's my maternal home. I suggest you go back to where you're coming from. And why would you say that? That woman is a victim of circumstance. She lost all her children and co-wives, husband and husband brothers. She's staying alone in that house. We are just waiting for her to die. So we can... Stop your mouth. Why would you utter such word? And why would she die? Why? Anyway, my God will keep her alive until I stay in this house. Nothing will happen to her. You don't get the point, do you? What are you talking about? This place is not safe for someone in your condition. Ah, don't worry. I'm a grown up woman. I can comfortably take care of myself and my own child. Thank you. Mm. Mm.
through again. You again? Okay. What can I do for you? What is it? Or whatever your name is called. I don't care. I don't ever want to see you in this house again. Leave me alone now. It is my life. And I will leave it the way I want. Eh? Check out for Abu Ibn Emusu. Leave me now. Go! Oh, I don't want to see you here again. Go! Give me my condition. My daughter, hey. I have a new discourse I make for What was that? Hey. I do not even know who she is. She keeps coming here every day to disturb me. Well, she has gone. Don't worry. She wants me all of her neighbor's children. Yes, I told her to leave and never to return. She won't come again. Good, my daughter. Good.
changing story. Hey, what? You know, she's the only one staying in that whole house. She says she no longer sleeps at night. Always at night. Anytime they discover that the girl is here, they will step up the punishment to the next level. And that will be punishing all of us from this generation. That is worse.
no food in the house for me to eat. Please, do you have food to give me? I'm very hungry. A woman in your condition is not supposed to go hungry. Come to think of it. What are you still doing in that cost house? Won't you go back to your place? Whatever it is, your life is more important than whatever shame that has made you to leave your place and come to this place. Maybe <gasps> come. If I can get any food from you, I will really appreciate this. It's okay, I'm coming. Let me get you something. Last one, what should I give you? You go away, see. Children are blessings. Only God can give. Whatever circumstance that led to this pregnancy, children are still blessings from God. Why I am telling you this is because I want you to go back to your people. Throw away your shame. Swallow your pride. By the time you give birth to this baby, everything will turn around for good. Nobody will say anything against you again. They will all love you and welcome you. Please, my daughter, go back. That house is not good for you. I understand. So, go now. Pack your things and leave that house. Okay? I don't want you to spend a night in that place again. Okay? Your life is important, woman, people. I am begging you. Leave that house. Please. You're welcome, my daughter. It's okay, stop crying. Why is your face like that? Hey, Mama, I'm very much worried. Paloma? Yes. How can she be staying alone in that house? As it stands now, our hands are tied. No matter how sincerely you want to help her, there is no way you can help her in this matter. 
then I have to go and visit her. At least see her know how she is faring. That's a good idea. Great one. So if you want to tell me so that I will organize some things that will be sent to you. I begin to organize what I want to organize now. I want to go and visit her tomorrow. Ah, that's great.
so tell me what is going on here. I am looking for the fairest granddaughter, Paloma. What is happening? You. I am coming from Umuhu village. I am the stepmother of Paloma. I came to see my stepdaughter, Paloma. Please, what is happening? She's in Yes, yes. 
house. I said leave my house.
God, I beg your forgiveness for this. is that your wife left you and at the cost of her barrenness her continued miscarriages and which has this perpetual cause placed on you man when I had all of this I said no I must come and see you I can talk at this point everybody is free to say whatever they want to say and I'm really never talking after I want to say of this whole situation. So what is this cause that I'm talking about? I don't want to go into it because it's long story. When I am sick, I have a solution. Going into all that will just aggravate issues. So have you taken any step for the solutions? When Linda and I was sick as well, and she had all those miscarriages, we went to various prayer houses in search of solution. And they all told us that I needed to upload us to a certain media and got pregnant and correct. I went in search of her, I did everything I could. I need for me to find out that she was dead. I went back to the same prayer houses telling them what I found out that I could not upload us to a dead woman. And then they, they, they came up with another story saying it, the, the curse was traditional that I needed to go see traditional solutions to my problems and all of that. It just got me all confused. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Listen, son, you don't have to be confused about this. It simply means that this get inflicted because of you traditional. That, that means that this solution you're seeking for cannot be provided by these prayer houses. You need an advice of a great demon, a great native doctor.
the spirit of the dead. It's greatly agreed. No prayer. No deliverance. Nothing can make you have the child of your Lord. Until you appease the spirit of the dead. Please. Why is my peace? That is the reason I came to see you. Why do you tell me? What do I do? How do I appease the spirit of the dead? A great cleansing ritual shall be performed on you. And before then, you must go and seek forgiveness of the people that owns the game. So that they can allow you to go to her grave for the ritual performance. After that, you perform all the marriage rites in the dead. Then and only then, the cleansing shall be done on you and we shall be free. Who is here? Knock, knock. This boy. You again? I, I am begging. You again? Just calm down, baby. Yeah. Okay. Madam, just do one. Nay. Nay, do not take any rash action. I'm begging you in God's name. Nay, I, 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 it's a matter of life and death. I am begging you. Do not. Like I told you before, the only reason I am wasting my time listening to you is because of the girl you married and kept in your house, who is now suffering for something she knows nothing about. If not for your wife, 
I have no reason whatsoever to listen to you because you deserve to die. You actually killed our daughter. I know. I know. Well, go back home. You will hear from us soon. Thank you very much, Marcy. God bless you. God bless you for listening to me. Thank you. Any other day, I see that young idiot, that idiot, near this compound, and he just returned with the two legs. Then don't call me, you will be Please calm down. Calm down. I don't have to calm down. That idiot denied him several. He ganged up with his colleagues against my Oluma. Even when she was swearing and insisting that he was the person responsible for the pregnancy, he continued denying. And now he has come to ask for her forgiveness. What forgiveness are we talking about here? Any day I get him close to this compound, I will personally shoot him down and face the consequences. Yes! Please calm down. Take it easy. Why you why you? I understand your plight, but you just have to temper justice with mercy. It is said that two wrongs can never make a right. You are an elder, my elder brother in that matter. Elders are known for wisdom. They are known for moderation. Please, I'm begging you. Do not overstress your anger and, and cause more ruins. Grace already gone. Oluma died out of carelessness. So what other ruins are we talking about here? Eh? My brother, please. Let us give that young man the chance to live again. He does not deserve to live. Oh, come on. Just go. I don't want to get angry with you. Go. Leave me and that idiot. If I see him, I will finish him. Oh, come on. Just go. Please, just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. So what was he saying? I don't want to. So that stupid boy went and met him. He should want that for you. He should want him never to set his feet on this compound again. How's to go? Was he not telling you to deny having anything to do with our daughter? He said he claimed after all it was my colleagues that were studying with her and the same he dropped colleagues. I just even before us. Yes. Now and listen, listen. Now that all of my thing, he wants to come and perform the traditional marriage, right? At the same time, perform the cleansing right. Oh, oh. Ah! Who is fooling who? Actually, who? Who does he take off for? So tell me. My brothers, that is exactly what he wants. Whatever it is, we cannot change. That is why I am insisting that you should flee. Stop it! That boy has insulted us so much. We can't continue to condone the rubbish. Eh? He does not deserve any blessing. Yes, Spano, let him go and suffer the consequences. Of his Listen, my dear, it's okay. It's enough. We are done with this. So that I have tried all and all I could, but none of them could give it to me. Hey, hey, there is nothing more I can do. I really wanted to help, but as you can see, my hands are tied. Your hands can be tied. You cannot tie your hands. My 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 life is in your hands. You. Eh? So, your life is not in my hands. Your life is in the hands of your chief. As it stands now, you are the only one that can save me from this situation. That is why I keep coming to beg you. Bikonu, anything you can, just anything, just do your best. I beg you. Please. So, you have to pray to God. Whatever God that you worship, pray to Him. Talk to Him. That He help you out of this situation. Because as it stands now, no other world can deliver you from this situation. I am sorry.
Hey. Hey. I heard that. If we continue to say no to that, it means that we are also partaking of his sins. Since he has genuinely repented of his evil actions and is ready to do the right thing by apologizing to our daughter and paying the right price. We shouldn't say no again. Because if we do, like I said before, we would be partaking of his evil actions. Our daughter is dead and buried long ago. Whether we like it or not, he is still alive. Only that we have stopped him from doing the right thing. My brothers, more than ever, I think this is the time we should use the grace of all things that comes with wisdom wisely. I am begging you. Let us have a good night. Elders, these are the marriage items on the list, and this is the stipulated price. I have come to accept responsibility for all the past pregnancy. Take her as my wife.
place we serve as a memory that we take our worship to the
if she's not small. So we can go and inquire for this avenue this beautiful in marriage. You know what? God is actually the God of us all, the Father of us So we are brothers in Christ. God is wicked. That's not true. You cannot talk like that about the places that gave you the life you're living today. Not life! This is life. Do you think I have a life? To die? Tell God, don't talk like that. You are the type of I am not a child of God. God has abandoned me. My wife has abandoned me. Nobody wants to marry me. I want to die. Get out. It's okay. It's okay. I, I understand your plans. But can you please hear me out? There is still hope for you. God loves you. That is why He sent me to you today. So I, I'm here to introduce Christ to you. Jesus died and took a lot of so can you please hear me out? The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. All you need now is just to be born again. Pastor, I speak faith of my wife every day. Yet the cross continues. It is not enough to be speaking faith. It has nothing to do with the faith of the Catholic It has to do with being born again. Declaring the Lordship of Jesus Christ over your life, believing in your heart that God sent. The job he did in the cross of Calvary, he accounted unto you a brand new life he did it to you. A life without the past, a life without the cause. Everything becomes new. 
I will ready to give your heart to Christ now. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I declare with my mouth, I declare with my mouth that you are Lord over my life, that you are Lord over my life. I believe in my heart, I believe in my heart that God sent you, that God sent you to die for me, to die for me. I believe with my heart, I believe with my heart that your death on the cross of Calvary, that your death on the cross of Calvary has paid for my sins, has paid for my sins. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for sending me to save me today. Thank you, Lord. For making me a brand new man, for making me a brand new man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For giving me eternal life, for giving me eternal life. Jesus, Jesus, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Praise you the Lord. Praise 